Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around Central Texas looking for delicious restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a burger joint voted the best burgers in Texas. This is it. That's it. This is why you won. That's exactly why. Plus, we check out SA Seafood for our featured restaurant of the day. The Hush Puppies, Egg Rolls, Stuffed Jalapenos, Bacon Wrap, Deep Fried Shrimp. And we check out a new vegan sandwich shop that's giving back to the community. Right out of the kitchen, look at all that sauce on the side. That's just goodness. Our first stop on today's foodie adventure is at a new restaurant in Southtown in San Antonio. There's a new restaurant that you've got to come out here and try that has a wicked oyster menu and some delicious bites as well. Let's go inside Lil M's Oyster Bar. Joining me now is Emily Carpenter. She's the owner out here at Lil M's Oyster Bar. And in front of us, we got this big spread. We got the oysters, the reason why you come out here, ceviche, sashimi, and a little oyster guide on the side that we're gonna be talking about. But why oysters? Well, me and my husband are huge foodies. We've traveled the world for food, we've traveled the world for oysters, and we wanted to bring something we truly love to the neighborhood that we love. And I gotta say, when you walk down here and you see all the other restaurants and you see this cute little pink pastel kind of beacon down here in Southtown, it feels like you're giving it like a new breath of fresh air. And, and it just has this kind of fun pop to it. In front of us, you got a couple oysters, and these are all on the menu. It's a seasonal rotating menu. Yes. And they're all from they're from all over the place, yes. right? Yes, definitely the East Coast. We typically have about six menu, six oysters on the menu. Which one are you gonna get? You're I'm gonna, gonna get, get the big the, one. <laughs> okay, that's your Fiddler's Cove right there. That's okay. from Massachusetts. And Great what am I oyster. putting on here? Oh goodness, that is the blood orange mignonette. It's fantastic, and that's your homemade, house made cocktail sauce, okay. and a little bit of your shaved horseradish. Shaved, y'all all right. fancy out here, look okay, at you. Okay, putting all of it on there. I know, right, I'm going for it, I'm hey, extra I like, like it. that. And then I gotta put a little bit of lemon juice just to brighten it up, right? Yeah, exactly. So here we go, cheers. Okay, cheers. And it just falls right off the shelf, so we shuck it really, really well. At wow. Little M's, we wanna make sure it just falls in your mouth. That is incredible, the flavor on that one, it has a creaminess to it. Oysters in general are just kind of slightly creamy, but it kind of hits all those notes with all the little items you have here. It's a little salty, it's a little sweet, it's a slightly sour. Briny. And the, it's bright. Exactly, that's all the notes you want. That is incredible. And that's just one option. That's There's so many different one. kinds. This is like a little adventure you can have when you come out here. But I gotta know, what's going on with this little guy off oh, the side? Oh, that's your, that's your dressed oyster of the day. So you got a little bit of uh, trout roe, uh, avocado lime creme, and a dill sprig. What do you think? I'm popping all the little. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, they pop. But it and it has that little. It's a little briny. It's a little bit sour, but it also comes back with the creaminess again. And it has just a little bit of saltiness to kind of round it all out. That's just a killer bite. There are many different kinds of oysters on the menu out here. They're all seasonally rotating. So when you come out, make sure you look at the menu to see what's out there. Thank you so much for showing us a little yeah. bit. I know you have the sashimi and the ceviche, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. But there's a lot more stuff on the menu than just oysters, and we're gonna take a look. Joining me now to talk about the other food items on the menu is Houston Carpenters, the other owner out here and husband to Emily. We wanted to bring something to our neighborhood. We wanted this to be a gateway for people that have never been here before. You know, after this, maybe they go to Hot Joy, maybe they go to Battalion, they go to Friendly Spot. I just think it's a great vehicle for people to come here and enjoy this part of town. I'm ready to jump into this. What's going on with this lobster roll? Right we got here? a lobster roll that's whole lobster. We get fresh lobster every day. Is this like an aioli on the side? What you got? That's called DJ Nasty Sauce. That chef's <laughs> special sauce. Don't ask me what's in it. I need to know now. If you're calling it nasty <laughs> sauce, I need to. <laughs> it's everything but nasty. There you go. That's the bite right here. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, bro. Give All right, buddy. <laughs> if you love lobster like I do, you gotta come out of here to Little M's Oyster Bar and get that lobster roll. Then you put that little DJ Nasty sauce that's on there. It's a funny name, but it's absolutely delicious. And all that lobster butteriness that you want. The lobster, I mean, look at those huge chunks. Y'all aren't playing around out no, here. No, 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 we're doing it the right way. Wow. Okay, so right here we got the crudo. This week we're doing a swordfish. Top it off with some uh, jalapenos and 
in some olive oil. Got to give it a try here. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's very fresh. Yes, sir. It's very bright. The peppercorns in there add that whole other dimension. A little bit smoky, but that's just rocking. All right, and now we jump over to a burger. Not something you would think you would traditionally find at an oyster bar, right? That's the bite. Mm. You wouldn't expect a good burger at an oyster bar, but let me tell you, they have a really nice product out here. The beef is nice and seared on the outside, has a nice tenderness on the middle. For me, it's all about the pickles. I'm a pickle man myself. That's why there's a bunch on there. Made in house right here by the chef. These pickles alone, you're just gonna want a little ramekin on the side of them just to enjoy them. Last but not least, we have this monster sitting right in front of us. Yeah, so that's our filet. We, we definitely wanted a good date night feature on there. We got the, uh, the lump crab in there. We got some blue cheese. The perfect bite. Combine all three of them, it's great. This thing is massive. Looking at about eight to 10 ounces of filet. This thing's covered in a demi glaze, a little bit of lump crab, a little bit of onion straws as well. It's a nice texture. Has that surf and turf vibe. Look at the cook on there. Oh yeah. A nice uh, medium or medium rare. It's times like this, you just know, I, I love what I do. This looks awesome. Here we go. I tell you, wow. And the beef filet is just buttery and you get it at that medium, medium rare cook, it's just gonna fall apart, melt in your mouth. Give me a moment. I'm gonna go to my happy place real quick. <laughs> Bro, bump. That is just, so flavorful. It has that umami vibe to it. It has those little bit of salty notes, but it's like a glaze and it just coats everything so nicely. The textures you're getting from the onion straws that are on top as well. I mean, that's just rocking. A lot of delicious food on the menu, but you gotta wash it down with something, right? So you guys have a really extensive wine and beer menu, right? Yes, we do. We decided to keep it all local for the beers. We got Freetail in there, we got Dorsal, we got Alamo, and we got Biba. Nice. All good stuff on draft. I love this right here. This is the high wheel. I mean, this is where it's at. You guys got to come down here to Southtown, a little bit past the friendly spot, right here on the corner, Little M's Oyster Bar. Come here for date night. Come here to relax and enjoy yourself. Get the lobster roll, get the oysters, get the steak. Just go crazy. Have fun. This is where it's Absolutely. at. Absolutely. Give me some foot. Yeah, get some foot, buddy. There we go. I'm going to finish this burger right now. I'll finish <laughs> the beer. Now we're here on the northeast side of San Antonio, right here on Walsham Road, to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up some delicious soul food. Let's go inside Mama Lou's Soul Food and Kitchen. Joining us now is Tasha Willis. In front of us, we have all this delicious food. Everything looks absolutely fantastic out here, but I gotta know, who's Mama Lou? Mama Lou is my great-grandmother. Oh, that's her right there. Right here. And then her daughter is Lou Esther, which is my grandmother. Why name a restaurant after her? A lot of people forget where they came from, and we just did it as a tribute to honor our grandmothers. What do we have in front of us? This all looks absolutely delicious. We got some oxtails uh, over rice, mother wow. with brown gravy. Uh, we have our, our pork chop, fried pork chops along with some fried chicken, as well as some fried catfish. Yes. A lot of people haven't tried oxtail before. Oxtail is actually the tail of the cow. Uh, I used to call it brisket, but people told me stop calling it brisket, but it, it is the look cow. How, the look tail how tender it. that is. I mean, it just falls it's apart. Good. We get some of the rice, a little bit of the gravy on there. So is this all your great grandmother's recipes? Or is this just family recipes in general? This is not all of my grandmother's recipes. I actually, we. This is just a tribute to the grandmothers of some good food that they will be proud of that wow. we serve into our community. That's what this is. Incredible. You got to get it with the gravy. You got to get it with the rice. And it just falls apart. It tastes just like brisket. So if you never had it before, you're a little apprehensive about trying it. Imagine brisket, but just stewed up with all the right seasonings, all the right rice and, and gravy on top. I mean, it is fantastic. Extremely tender. I mean, it's just falling right off the bone right there. This is where it's at. Delicious. The rice has a really nice uh, puffy texture to it. And then you have the gravy on there. The sauce is killer. People want to know, you got, do you have fried chicken on the menu? You guys got fried chicken on yes. the menu. Yes. And that's what we have right here. Is this a standard order, like a three piece? Yes, this is a three piece. Our one meat plate comes with three pieces of chicken. Wow. Yes. That looks good. Yes. <laughs> All right, I got to take a bite out of this. Got to see what's going on. Wow. 
It's flavorful. Yeah. It's pretty flavorful. This is loaded. Mm. I love how simple you guys made everything. It's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It just, it has the essence of salt, pepper, a really good dredge, a nice breading, a good coating on there, yes. fried nice, yes. flavored down to the bone. Yes. But you're doing it right. Yes. Wow. Now we jump over. You have all these proteins, all these entrees, but they're only as good as the sides that come with them. So we have right. over here some different items. Talk to me about what's going on right here. Candied yams. Candied yams. They're real cut candied yams. What you got here? Black eyed peas, mm -hmm. greens, collard greens, and mac and cheese, along with some fried okra. Of course, you gotta have the fried okra going on. Candied yams, what goes into your oh recipe here? goodness. You know the right stuff. Butter, <laughs> oh, yeah. brown sugar, cinnamon, the real stuff. The real stuff. <laughs> You can smell it. It's mm. Thanksgiving again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. That's just a meal in itself. I know. You just order that, you're good to go. <laughs> this is the one. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Everybody loves mac and cheese. Everybody loves mac and cheese. This is where it's at, right here. Mama Luce has a lot of different side items on the menu, including collard greens, fried okra, mac and cheese, black eyed peas. But the one you gotta try is the candied yams. These things are rocking. I'm just done? taking a tour of the South right now. You, Rick, it really that's is. That's right. That's really what this is. Talk oh, to me about yeah. the different sweets you got going on. Of course, we got that banana pudding. Oh. We got that sweet potato pie. Now, can people, this looks like you got a drive through going on. Can people also come up curbside? Can they pick up food as well? Yes, we got curbside, drive through also call-in orders. So we give out the Mama Lou's card so they can feel free to call in. That way we can have their um, orders ready when they get here. You guys can come out here. It's right on the northeast side of San Antonio. I mean, this is where it's at. You it can is. come get your food, come get your soul food out here. This is where, I mean, get the oxtail. Oh my gosh, you're gonna fall in love with them, especially if you've never had them. Oh. They have the desserts, they got the mac and cheese, they got the fried chicken, the catfish, fried pork chops. Mm -hmm. This is where it's at. And of course, banana pudding. You're making me want to eat something. I'm all, you're making me want to eat something <laughs> right now. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we check out SA Seafood for our featured restaurant of the day. The hush puppies, egg rolls, stuffed jalapenos, bacon wrapped, deep fried shrimp. And next, we go inside a spot voted the best burgers in Texas. This is it, that's it. This is why you won. That's exactly why. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here off San Pedro in San Antonio to go inside of a burger spot that's won a bunch of awards recently, including the best burger in Texas. Let's go inside Papa's Burgers. Joining me now is Robert Walker. He's the owner out here at Papa's Burgers, and this is a spread. This is like what you dream of in your little burger land when you, when you have your eyes closed and you're sleeping at night. Now, why burgers? We wanted to bring the, the traditional old-fashioned burgers back the way they were. Nice, fresh beef, fresh ingredients, toasted bread inside and out. We want something that we can actually not only enjoy at that moment, but remember times gone past. Just amazing, great, lots of flavor without having to add anything to it and missing out on the ingredients themselves. You won best burger in Texas. Yes, sir. Best Burger in Texas 2020 uh, with the Caliente. And again, it just, it goes back to fresh ingredients. This looks absolutely delicious. Talk to me about what's going on here in the front though. This is actually our Jack Burton. It is uh, three one third pounds, that's up to one pound with uh, three types of cheeses, grilled onions, crispy bacon, absolutely the quintessential <laughs> burger of burgers. That's the burger right that's there. It. That's the one right there. That's the one that people come in and challenge themselves to finish. All right, here we go. The Jack Burton out here at Papa's Burgers. The dough, the bread, the bun, coupled with all the meat that's going on inside, the bacon is perfectly crisp. Look at that. I mean, 
you have just the ultimate product right here. All the flavors all melt together. Yeah. So when you bite in, it's not just eating the burger, you're experiencing it. The Jack Burton Burger is the ultimate burger bite. You got the three patties on there, all that cheese, the bacon, and the buns just seal the deal. This thing is absolutely delicious, but you gotta come hungry, because it's massive. This is the one that won best burger in the state of Texas 2020. We use grilled jalapenos, grilled onions, we steam pepper jack cheese, we put fresh green leaf lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, toasted bread the same exact way. It's a very foundationally sound burger, but what we've done is with the jalapenos and, and the way that we grill them up, it actually allows you to enjoy the flavor and not just the heat of the jalapenos. All right, so this is the one that won. This is the, the big award winner right That's here. That's the best burger in Texas 2020 right there. Wow. <laughs> The Caliente Burger is the burger that won Best Burger in Texas for 2020. It is simple, it's delicious, and it's just a traditional, really good Americana burger bite. This is the ultimate burger. This is like, it's it's daddy though. This is like the big burger. <laughs> that's, that's grandpa and that's the teenager that loves to just go out and party. That's him, <laughs> that's who that is right there. If you were looking for like that bite, that burger bite, that just, you, you can kind of travel back in time. It's like a reminisce of a nostalgic moment of having just a really good American traditional burger bite. This is it. it. This is why you won. That's exactly why. So this is actually our, our turkey burger. Now that is a fresh ground turkey burger and it has grilled calabacita squash, mm -hmm. has a grilled tomato, steamed Swiss cheese, guacamole, lettuce. When you taste that, it's gonna completely blow you away. That's the bite right here, turkey burger. Mm. Oh. oh, that's really good. I think the seasoning is really what shines for me on this, on that ground turkey that's in there. It has a vibe to it, like you're eating a meal, not just like exactly. a sandwich. That's absolutely correct. And when you take that bite of everything, you create that well-rounded, like kind of unctuous umami flavor in there, right? Exactly. You're hitting those little salty notes, but it's just a really perfect blend of the seasoning that's in there. The turkey burger, is unique because it tastes like a whole meal on there. You have a little bit of squash that's on there, the grilled tomatoes, the cheese, the lettuce on there. And it's nice and juicy, but it still has good textures in there, which is really important. Last but not least, we're looking at this guy right here. What the heck chicken sandwich. That's actually a grilled chicken breast. Uh -huh. It has grilled bologna, bacon, mozzarella, guacamole, lettuce, and tomato. The bologna is just gonna, it's just, it's nostalgic. Here we go, what the heck. Oh, wow. What the heck? <laughs> that is phenomenal. I love the flavors on this. And you've cooked the chicken to where it still has, it's still very moist and tender. And then you still have that little bit of a crunch on the outside, a little bit of a nice sear, but the bacon does the job for the texture in there. And you guys know how to make some crispy bacon. You get, you're doing it right. And then the bologna. That's such a fun little like play around in there. This is just a really good bite. You know how to build flavors and you're doing it very simply but you're doing it the right way. The what the heck chicken sandwich. I've had bologna a long time, but I'd eat bologna like that if that's the way it's gonna come out. Great flavors, it's fun, it's different, and if you're a chicken sandwich person, this is the one you gotta try. Congratulations on all these awards. You. You got, I know you're gonna keep doing big things. Um, recently you closed your original location, but you have some big news, right? So we're actually making the announcement on the show, but we've actually had an opportunity to return literally about a mile away from when we first began all of this and won all these amazing awards. So we're going back to the west side and we're gonna be located at Castroville and 36th Street. So we're coming back home to where it all began and we're absolutely excited about returning back to where our roots are and where all of this truly began. That's incredible and I know a lot of people are gonna be very happy about that. <laughs> yes, they are, <laughs> absolutely. Well, you heard it right here on Texas Eats. You're ready, West Side's coming back to you. Papa's Burgers, this is where it's at. Robert, give me some love. Give me some, there you go. There you go. Incredible food. I highly recommend coming out here, branching out. If you tried the original burgers, try the chicken sandwich, the what the heck. Come out here, try the turkey burger as well. And the Jack Burton. You can't go wrong with that Jack Burton. I'm thinking about changing the name to the elder. Yeah, hey, <laughs> if you do, let me know. Let me know. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we check out SA Seafood for our featured restaurant of the day. The Hush Puppies, egg rolls, stuffed jalapenos, bacon wrapped, deep fried shrimp. And next, we go inside a Texas eatery with some killer French toast. That's dreamy. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> so don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on the north side of San Antonio to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up all kinds of sweet items, savory items, and some delicious cocktails. Let's go inside Full Belly Cafe and Bar. Now we're inside of the kitchen and joining me is Chef James. Now, you got a crazy menu. You have so many different items that are available, but you're gonna be making one item for us right now is the patty melt. Yes, sir. What's the first thing you do? So the first thing we do now that we've got the bread ready, all right, is we're gonna cut up some slices for it and then we're gonna drop the patty melts. All right, so talk to me about the patty now. I mean, you, it's, right. is it ready to flip? So we've got, I'm feeling that we've got a good caramelization on it on one side. So yeah, let's give it a flip. We flipped the bread already here. And if you see, that's a good sign. <laughs> and that's a great sign right there. Oh, right? wow. And so what I'll do at this point too, is I'll add the cheese because it acts as a natural timer as well. So now you have the bread over here, nice and toasted. What goes next? Off. So we're gonna dress the bread with a homemade Russian dressing. Okay. So another classic component of a patty melt, we make the Russian dressing in house with pickles that we make in house. And so we'll just fire a little bit of this right on here. And I, I like it saucy. <laughs> so I, I'm not afraid to, you know. Sauce I, it I, up, baby. I feel there like you go. If, it's, if it's like dripping down your arm, then that's yeah. like the highest compliment. Lid goes on. Everything's getting to know each other. And then that's a patty belt. All right, now we're, we're getting ready to eat over here. We have all this delicious food in front of us. We have the patty melt, we have some French toast, we have some braised lamb, tons of desserts and some cocktails. But first, I gotta try the patty melt. Get in you there. made it look so good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's funny how far just some, uh, a good patty, some homemade bread and melted cheese will go. But then you throw in the sauce mm. and the caramelized onions. The bread is made in house, which makes it really special. And then the meat on there is seasoned with caraway seeds, you get a little salt, a little bit of pepper, but right onto the flat top like that. I mean, this is like as patty melt as it gets. There's a lot of sauce, there's a lot of cheese, and it's a lot of goodness. I'm gonna finish this later, but we're gonna jump right over here. You have French toast on the menu. You got like a little bit of totally, everything for everyone. Totally. Talk to so, me about this. So this is the another kind of bread that we're making in house. Uh, the type of bread is, it's called a milk bread. Um, it's made with a, a milk powder, and it's similar to a brioche. So it's very light, fluffy, oh, lots man. of butter involved in it. <laughs> That's the bite. Oh, wow. That's dreamy. Thank you. Woo! Mmm. <laughs> uh, and, and I'll go ahead the and milk say... Bread. Uh, it is a sweet dish intentionally, so yeah, if you're this not is, into sweets, this probably isn't the dish for you. No, there's but, nothing subtly sweet about this. No. This is in your face. Every yep. element of this has a sweet component to it. But, I mean, everything works so well together. If you're like, I'm like an ant, I love sugar. And if you love sugar, this is the dish to get. I love pecan pie. And if you could transform those flavors and then kind of move it over to a French toast, you're doing something right. And this thing is just sweet on sweet. So if you want something really sugary, over the top brunch item, you get the French toast, the pecan pie, and it's just gonna blow your mind. I think decadent is really a good word for you guys. Thank um, you. Everything just has these rich, bold flavors. You Thank also you. have other pastries in house as well. Can people just come in and buy these? Totally, you can, you can eat these in house, you can come in. Uh, we have a coffee program going as well. It's absolutely delicious, it's incredible. I love the vibe that you guys got in here. You can socially distance when you come in. There's an outdoor patio as well. I mean, from from breakfast or brunch all the way to dessert, you guys are rocking it. I'm gonna grab this cocktail. If you wanna grab the other one, cheers yeah, to you, sir. Let's I love what I'm you guys got going here, and cheers to your whole team. Right on. Absolutely delicious. When you guys come out here, solid. This is this is it. You gotta try all these items. Maybe not all at once. Come back at different times. If you can eat all this at once, I triple dog dare you. That'd be a wild experience. But this is absolutely, uh, it's phenomenal. And the brunch. Thank you. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we go inside a new fast food joint in San Antonio offering vegan options on the menu. And next, we check out SA Seafood for our featured restaurant of the day. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now it's time for our featured restaurant of the day. Now we're here off De Zavala in San Antonio to go inside of a seafood restaurant that's only been here for a short amount of time, but has had a huge impact on this side of town. Let's go inside SA Seafood. Look at that. Joining me now to look at all this food and to talk about it, Emma Ratlett, manager out here at SA Seafood. Thank you so much for having of us course. out here. All of this looks delicious. I'm jumping in right here. This is the snow crab that you got on the menu. Mm -hmm. Seafood boils are what you can get when you come out here, but it's not just that. You have a lot of different side items as well. Like this tray has a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, for sure. And so the hush puppies, egg rolls, stuffed jalapenos, bacon wrapped deep fried shrimp. Come on now, you got the pull boy sandwich, which is like a go-to for lunchtime. And then you have all these fried goods as well. How long has the restaurant been here in San Antonio? So we just recently opened in this past November. It was definitely late November. <laughs> That's a risky move to open up during the pandemic, right? It was for sure, but we, we definitely had to do it. We yeah. needed more seafood in San Antonio. We definitely do, especially on this side of town right here off Days of Zavala. This is a great spot to have it at. And it's not just the Cajun seafood boil, it's an Asian Cajun mm -hmm. fusion that you have. So you have the lo mein noodles. It looks like it got a little bit of crawfish, a little shrimp action going on in there. And then this one right here, it's like a Cajun rice, right? It has the yes. shrimp on there. Uh, which dish do you find to be the most popular? Definitely this one right here is the this boiled, one. yes, the uh -huh. boiled shrimp with uh, Cajun fried rice. In the fried rice, we have shrimp and crawfish. Ooh. And you can make it as spicy as you want. So. Oh, that's what I'm talking popular. about. You can get real spicy when you come out here. I mean, y'all were already popping. I mean, they we're right here during lunchtime, so you're going to see people walking behind us. I mean, this has become like the spot to go to in San Antonio oh, yeah, for seafood. For sure. They got all different kinds of crustaceans that you can get dunked in butter. I highly recommend the snow crab and the shrimp. You can order it by the pound, and it comes out with their secret sauce, which they didn't let me know what's in it. But let me tell you, you want to dip everything in there. You're going to be dipping your cereal in it. It's just tasty. The sauces that you guys have, you have a lot of different options over there on the other side of the table. Mm -hmm. But there's one in particular that's like, the sauce to get, right? Yes, our SA Seafood sauce. It's a buttery Cajun sauce. Definitely goes really well with our crab legs and boils. Well, here, I'm, I'm like taking forever to <laughs> I'm just biding my time, don't worry about it. But this right here is just a, a sampling. Look at that. Come on, Amy. They've got hush puppies, egg rolls, my favorite, the bacon wrapped shrimp that's deep fried. You can also get fried catfish, fried oysters. I mean, basically anything that's swimming or crawling around in the ocean, they're breading it and deep frying it out here. <laughs> Everything on the table looks delicious. And of course you also have fried chicken. Yes, we do. <laughs> and it's whole chicken wings, right? Yeah, we have the whole chicken wings and the wingettes. The wingettes. <laughs> the little ones. If I ever start a band, I'm going to name it. It's the whole chicken wing and the wingettes. That's what I'm calling it. And then, of course, uh, seafood boils. There's all different kinds. This is the shrimp. This is the snow crab. Um, I want to try the lo mein noodles right here, right here. Um, but when are you all open? What are your hours? So we're open every day except Monday, 11 to 9. And then Friday and Saturday, we're open till 10. Wow. So you can come out here, enjoy yourself for the mm -hmm. weekend, get it going. I mean, this is great grub, especially for football season, you know. Um, any kind of big sporting event you, you have, if you're at your house with your family, you bring this home, you're a rock star. You're going to be a winner. Thank you so much for having us out here. Of course. Right here off Days of Olive. And, uh, you know, I'm going to keep eating. I got a lot of food to eat. <laughs> Cheers. Do you want to be a featured restaurant on Texas Eats? All you got to do is reach out to us with the contact information right here on the screen. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're gonna go inside of a restaurant right near Crossroads Mall in San Antonio, Texas that's serving up all kinds of delicious Mexican and Tex-Mex food. Let's go inside El Chivito and see what they got cooking. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you. Now, you have a lot of delicious food that's right in front of us. I mean, you have some media tacos, the queso tacos, you have some empanadas. We're gonna get into all of that, but I have to know how y'all make the, the media that you have out here. What goes into the process of making it? 
Oh, it's a lot of hours of like <laughs> chopping up the meat, putting all the ingredients, mixing yeah. it all together and having it cook in a slow motion, everything. And be checking it constantly because birria is very delicate. Absolutely delicious looking, look at that, loaded up. Cilantro, red onions, you got a lime on there, we gotta use it. Absolutely, yeah. Of course, it's birria in there, so you gotta dunk it into the consomme, so here we go. Look at that. Absolutely delicious, great flavors on there. The cheese is melted perfectly. It, you even got it to where it has a nice little crust on the outside. Yeah. Um, the cilantro is cut up really nice. I mean, everything you guys are doing, you can tell there's attention into it. If you love birria and you want to try a different interpretation of what that is, you come out here to El Chivito and they have the little tacos. You get them loaded up with cheese in there. Ooh, it's next level. Now, this is like a standard birria taco. Is that yes, what this sir. is? Yes, sir. For so those who don't like cheese, we make these for them. And then you have the consomme. You just drink the consomme, right? That's just <laughs> tasty. Dunk it right into there. Look at that. There we go. A spicy episode of Texas Eats right here. Incredible. I love BD. I think you guys have a really good interpretation of what that is. And you're kind of doing it your own way. Yes. Um, the consomme is really nice. has a good saltiness to it. Y'all obviously know what you're doing out here. Delicious. But now we're going to move on over here. Because you actually have BD ramen. All right, so this has the consomme already in it, right? Yes, that has the consomme in it. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. Look, I got a little bit of extra points in there. I'm just gonna whoop. This is super delicious. I love the texture on the noodles as well. You guys obviously know how to make it good. Look at my nose is running already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah, you got a little kick to it. If you love ramen and birria, why not have it together, right? So it's all in the consomme. You have the noodles that are cooked perfectly in there as well. But this one has big chunks of birria, big chunks of beef that are in there. It has all the onions, the cilantro already mixed in. You just go in at it. And it's a lot of food. I and mean, it's just good comfort food. Empanadas on the menu right here, made fresh and then baked to order. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. That's really good. Yeah. Everything you have on the menu so far has been really good. It's very delicious. But this is why I would come out here every day of the week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Delicious texture on the bread. The beans, it's just a nice thin layer, just enough to kind of hold everything together, give it that flavor. The garnitas are so tender. Oh my gosh. They're made fresh. The pickled onions on there, the cabbage. I mean, the sauce though, y'all. If you don't come out here and try this, you're doing something wrong. The one item that really stands out to me, the reason why I'd come back every day of the week, the torta ahogada. You get that loaded up with the cabbage, the pickled onions that are on there as well, just dunked in that sauce, a little bit of hot sauce on top as well. Shut your mouth, that's just goodness. I mean, everything's delicious. You guys, they have fruit cups, you have corn cups, you have the little aguas frescas as well. They're all made fresh in house. You have the horchata, you have watermelon. The jamaica though, that's my favorite. This right here, it's just good. It's just goodness. Robert, you rock. Thank you so much. Give yeah, me some elbow. Thank you. Thank, thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Me. You guys, you can't go wrong. Everything's great. I extremely recommend the, the torta ahogada. This is just goodness on goodness. Coming up next on Texas Eats, we go inside a new fast food joint in San Antonio offering vegan options on the menu. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on the north side of San Antonio in Stone Oak to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up a menu with all plant-based items. Let's go inside Project Boyle. Joining me now is the owner and founder, Lucas Bradbury, out here at Project Boyle, and we have a lot of delicious food in front of us. And what blows my mind out here, of course, is that everything is plant-based. Yeah, 100%. Everything's made of vegetables. There's no dairy, there's no animal products. Everything that we use is made uh, pretty much of soy or uh, coconut oils, different things of the sort. Now, this one, it just looks like a beast. If you found this at another kind of fast food place, 
I mean, this would be like the one to get. So of course you guys have something like this on your menu. So this to me would be the one I'd come out here for. Yeah, so to start off with, we use a brioche bun on that. You have some ranch, uh, house-made ranch on it. Then we take our crispy house-breaded chicken. We toss it in our spicy garlic buffalo sauce. Then we add on our cashew-based macaroni on top. Then some grilled jalapeno bacon. Put it all together, top it with a pickled jalapeno. Look at that. <laughs> nice and hot, right out of the kitchen. Look at all that sauce on this side. So here we go, take a bite. Well, give me some elbow. I wouldn't know that that's just plant-based. 100%. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's affordable. That's $8 total. That's a really good price for this big of a sandwich. For being a plant-based sandwich, this thing is rocking. I wouldn't even tell that this was plant-based if you didn't tell me that to begin with. I mean, the bacon on there, the chicken that's on the inside, it all has such nice flavors. It tastes authentic, and the texture is the most important part. It's a little bit saucy. It's got a lot of rich, smoky flavors on there as well, but then the mac and cheese, it tastes just like a really good mac and cheese on there. The toasted buns, the little jalapeno that comes on top, it's a really good sandwich. Come take a bite out of this. It does have a little bit of a unique flavor to it, but you wouldn't know that this is all plant-based. Our goal is to challenge chicken and the way it's manufactured and to people, offer people an alternative that not only one is affordable, but two kind of does something a little bit better for the planet right now. This place is extremely affordable, it's approachable, and by going completely plant-based with all these different chicken items, they're actually saving on average about 500 chickens a day. But to know that there's a restaurant like this that's providing a really good product and they're going to help the community and help the environment, um, I think it's a great initiative. Now this is the Caesar wrap, right? It's a chicken Caesar. You got a spinach tortilla, you got fresh chopped romaine, you got kale in there, red onion, some vegan Parmesan cheese, house-made Caesar dressing, and then our hand-breaded crispy chicken. All right, here we go. Oh, that's rocking. That is a lot of crunch. Yeah. I love the seasoning you have in that breading. That is a really nice product. If you don't want to be as adventurous to go and get this wild sandwich, there's a lot of other options on the menu, including their Caesar salad. And the Caesar salad wrap comes with the Caesar salad just packed inside of a spinach tortilla. And it has the little chicken bites that are in there. But these ones, because they're not sauced, you really get that crunch on that's on the outside. So How many calories is you looking at about 280. this? 280. 280 for this wrap, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. It's a really nice uh, bite on there. I love the spinach tortilla. It has, it has a really nice texture on it as well. But that's sauce. You're like the king of sauces. Yeah, everything's from scratch. Everything's house made. On the menu, you have a particular item. It's the People Project. The People Project was founded, actually, that was like the root of what Project Pollo was, was to have uh, affordable access to plant-based food. So if a guest comes in, they're down on their luck, they don't have any money, um, you know, no problem, we'll take care of it. If you have $2 on you, no problem, you get a full meal, we've got you 100%. If you have $10 on you, that's great, you know, that money goes to feeding others. So kind of the rule of the thumb with the People Project is, when you buy it at $5.50, which is the suggested price, it feeds you plus two other people. The People Project is such a good initiative to have in the community, especially during a time like this, even though they created this before the pandemic even happened. So they were thinking about the people over profit model anyways. It's all gonna pay it for to help other people out in the community. From the chicken sandwich, you have the Caesar wrap, all the way to the loaded fries. Everything's a home run. And I'm telling you, even if you don't, have you never tried vegan before? Come here, try the food. I think you're gonna get sold on the idea. Project Boil, the People Project, I think that's a really fun and interesting way to engage the community as well, to do something positive. Yeah, absolutely. If anyone out there in the community is in need or they've just recently lost a job or down on their luck, feel free to reach out. Uh, Lucas at projectpoyo.com. Let me know what you need. We'll be happy to bring it to you, get you taken care of. So That's awesome, man. And it's not just these items. Of course, you have some other salads over here to present. And there's other different uh, chicken sandwich options as well. You guys are doing great things. Of course, there's drinks out here. Um, so hit them up. This is where the newest location up here in Stone Oak, but there's other locations across San Antonio, more popping up. Uh, so look out for them. I think you guys really have a cool concept. Keep going, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. I'm going to eat this whole thing. Yeah, go for okay. it. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information on all the restaurants you've seen on today's show, just head to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats, or you can follow us on social media at KSAT Texas Eats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas eats, but not them.
they're safe. We're not going to eat them.